Hello, welcome to the Mrs. Beauty Supply Store. Were you able to find everything that you needed? Perfect. Let me just take a look at what you've got. Yeah, we just, um, we just opened recently. And, uh, so we have a collection. We're kind of like a hodgepodge of, uh, drugstore and high-end so we have you know nails hair makeup a little bit of everything so hopefully um, whatever it is that you're looking for we'll have it this is a beautiful eye color palette I actually have this at home as well um may I ask why you're purchasing this is this for your for yourself your your daughter is turning 13. Oh wow, that's a lovely, lovely age. Um, although, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a terrible salesperson here. Um, is your daughter super into cosmetic? into like makeup and cosmetics or um, what what type of girl is she it's, well okay let me ask you a couple of questions and the reason why I want to ask before you purchase this is if this was for you um, I would say um, go for it. However, you say that your daughter is turning 13. Okay. I just want to show you a couple of things. This is a lovely palette. Um, I just want to show you a couple of things. If your daughter is turning 13, um, a lot of these colors, I would classify them as summer colors. Um, when is her birthday? In November. Okay, so you're just, um, and you have a birthday party set for her? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm going to give you my feedback um, on this purchase, and if you can wish to purchase it, that's fine. However, I just want you to consider a couple of things. Um, is your daughter uh, super into makeup? Does she always watch you when you apply your own makeup? Is she stealing your makeup yet? No. She just... <laughs> she just nags you that she wants her own makeup. Um, would you describe her as super girly or would you describe her as moderately feminine? Okay, she's moderately feminine. Um, is she, um, well, I'm at, okay. Let me, uh, explain to you this color, uh, this color palette is beautiful, but as you can tell, and I'll just uh, swipe a couple for you, swatch them. She's turning 13, and I just want you to take a look at these swatches. They're they're very bright colors. Um, you know this one in particular, and um, this is all well and good. These colors are lovely. However. This 120 eye color palette may intimidate her, is one thing that you might want to consider. Um, the second thing is, um, uh, if because you classify her more as a moderately feminine young woman and not super girly, um, she's interested in makeup more than likely but um, 
she's probably not turning into some beauty guru and again she may be intimidated with this color palette and not know where to begin how to apply it um, and since some of the colors are so very bold um, she may not even use the palette yeah 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 it's not that I wanted to discourage you from the purchase obviously um but this might be something that you could reserve for her on her 14th birthday when she gets a little bit used to makeup um would you mind if I showed you a palette that might be more to your liking as a mother and something that she can ease her way into it okay we'll just put this off to the side and if you still want this product we will certainly wrap this up for you but I want you and your daughter to be very happy so I'm going to make a couple of suggestions for you okay let's just put this back put this away for a moment okay I'm glad that you chose BH Cosmetics um, but this is something that I would recommend for a 13 year old um, this color palette is less than $15 it has 28 neutral eyeshadows what is her skin tone is she fair medium or dark she's fair now does she have a pink undertone or a peachy undertone or an olive or a yellow undertone pink undertone okay it wouldn't matter the undertone however I plan on recommending a couple of other things for you again this color palette is a very very good and I'm just going to open it up if you don't mind. Okay. And this is just from the sample case. Is she having a slumber party? Yeah, those are always fun. And matter of fact, I mean, if you're looking for giveaways, you can even buy um, this palette for all of the girls. And then, because this palette is so inexpensive, you can always buy her a $50 basket, which I can help you create. Is that something you might be interested in? did it okay well let's take a look at the palette I love this palette I actually own it this is my if I can just get it open that would be great okay um look at this this is great this is something that she can use every day this is something that I use every day um the colors are very subtle and they're year-round colors because you can wear them every day um, and there's enough of a variety where you can mix and match but being that she's 13 years old and um, this is going to be her introduction into makeup you may want to ease your daughter into eyeshadows and colors let her get used to a neutral palette and then once she develops um, a style and an interest in colors of her own you can then of course help her to build her own makeup collection but 
this is um, a wonderful array of sparkly, some satiny, some uh, shimmery and glittery colors, and of course you do have a couple of matte colors, and they're all, you know, in this mix. Um, I know. Yes, yeah, some of the colors do look like they are being repeated, but um, sometimes it's just the finish. So, um, let's just take a couple of swatches. They do have, oh, let's see here, this is like a peachy pink that comes off kind of pearlesque. And I love this color. It's kind of like an, uh, a very soft eggplant. I don't know if you can see that well, but it is very pretty. And one of my favorite colors is this matte brown. Now, as you can tell, the colors aren't super pigmented, but that's okay because this is basically what you want. Um, again, she's 13 years old. She, um, I know you don't want her attracting too much attention from boys just yet. Um, here's the black, but this is something, now this one is a little bit dark, but in consideration to other products and higher end products, uh, this black really isn't as pigmented as it looks on my thumb. Um, uh, this is a very nice color, it's kind of like a a rose, satiny rose, I mean, excuse me, burgundy, um, I love this color as well too, they're very light, they're very subtle, and I think that this is more age appropriate for what you want to accomplish with your daughter. This way she can learn with a neutral palette how to apply her makeup in natural colors and she won't look older than she is. Is this something that you would be interested in? Very good. Yeah, this palette isn't even $14 so I am going to grab one of these from the back. Um, like I said, if you want, you and I can build a really lovely basket for her for $50. And then this neutral palette, you can give it as a gift to all of the girls at the slumber party. How does that sound? Excellent. Excellent. Well, this is one thing that you can give to your daughter. The next item is also from BH Cosmetics. It is also under $15. And it, again, it's a great starter for a 13 year old. And let's take a look at this palette. It's 10 professional blushes. And again, the pigmentation is soft enough for a 13 year old. Do not become intimidated by the brightness of the colors because on the skin they do not appear that bright. Okay, let's take a look at this pink right here, which is kind of very bright. Look at that. It really, and let's take a swatch of that on the skin. Do you see how soft that appears? And yet in the palette, it looks very, very bright when in fact it is not. They come off very, very sheer. Okay, here is a orangey type blush. Let's swatch that next to the pink. Again, beautiful. It is light enough so that she won't um, look like a clown. Again, she's a beginner. She's, you know, she has to learn how to apply this makeup. 
Um, so it's dark enough to be noticeable and sheer enough to be age appropriate. Um, most of the colors are matte, only one comes with a little bit of glitter. Are you interested in this palette? And then I'll just show you a couple of odds and ends. This is the black that I was telling you about, but again, look at how it shears out. This, you can either build it up very dark or you can shear it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this you can, in the beginning I would teach her, if I were you, to use this as a corner of the eye color. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a couple of things you might be interested. Again, these are just samples. We will um, swatch. If you want to bring her in one day, we can swatch her for colors that are more appropriate for her skin color since you say she's very fair. I would recommend for foundation, again, drugstore. Until she becomes a little bit older and she has a preference and she wants to start experimenting with makeup. But the Dream Matte Mousse from Maybelline is pretty good. Has decent coverage. Um, matter of fact, I should take that back. Does your daughter have problematic skin? Does she break out? No. Would you classify her skin as oily, normal, or dry? It's a little bit oily, a little bit normal. Okay, then she is good for this. I'm sorry, I should have asked those questions um, to begin with. But you can introduce her to foundation um, if you want. Um, for a 13 year old, you might want to pass up on the foundation. Um, if she, you know, is dying for foundation, you can get her this. My best recommendation for a 13 year old, however, since she does have normal to oily skin, would be to forego the mousse and instead get the powder. Yeah. At 13 years old, she more than likely has this wonderful skin that you don't want to teach her to cover up just yet. This can wait a couple of years. However, the Dream Matte Powder is a really good product. And what she will like about it is that it has a mirror. So there's that little applicator for her. These are all samples. You can also, this is a little bit on the higher end, but still age appropriate. This Bobbi Brown Pink Shimmer Brick would be great for her. Yeah, I want you to just take a look at these colors. You're not committed to anything today. But take a look at these beautiful colors. And all she would have to do is take a brush, swirl it, and it just gives her a dewy look. It does look um, on the glittery side, but it is not glittery in the least. It does just give the skin a very glowy look without looking oily. So she can use a little bit of this Dream Matte Powder to help reduce some of the oiliness. But that's, it doesn't make her look like, you know, washed out or completely just blah. She can go over the matte powder with the pink shimmer brick. And that will put a little bit of back of the healthy color back into her skin and make her look dewy. It's very fun. These bricks, they last forever. I have one and it, um, this exact color and a bronze one. And my bronze one, it has taken me two years to get down to the plate. 
yeah so even though this is a little bit higher end it is worth the money there is enough product here there's that now as far as lip colors are concerned again I would just recommend because she's 13 and really not familiar with wearing any makeup I have a couple of drugstore and higher-end products well, actually only one high-end product here but let's take a look at this I would recommend bombs for her now this particular one is in coral and it's a nice bright pink it's a fun 13 year old color it's just like a lipstick but it's very sheer very sheer okay there's that um, you can get her an assortment of glosses um, this one happens to be by Rimmel and it is a gold tone very pretty let me just show you that. very pretty um, so she does have a pink undertone um, if you want to get her some frosty pink lipsticks those are also wonderful this is kind of like a pinkish nudish type and let's swatch that for you as well again all of these are samples I will go to the but you can't even it, like I said it's enough to note without um, making it super obvious which at 13 that's the look that you really want to go for Here's one from Revlon, which I think is another perfect 13 year old color that is fun. This is like a Barbie pink. It's wonderful to look at, but when you apply it, very sheer, just like a lip balm. Actually, the texture of this lipstick is more applicable to a balm than it is an actual lipstick so this is really really lovely and again this is a nice nude by MAC it's called Secret Lover very nude but very beautiful yeah I love this I love the finish of this and I love the way it feels it is a higher end product so it does moisturize and it it smells like cake it smells delicious yeah we do that's actually a very good observation let me show you a couple of cheap brushes that you can get and again they don't cost very much so you can always get um, we do sell e.l.f. products and this is what I would recommend for your daughter and again until she gets a little bit older once she understands makeup and she develops her own interests and preferences she can buy for herself um, products that she likes so um, this is a foundation brush but again um, she's 13 year old uh, she's 13 I would forego any foundations for her her skin is perfect she really doesn't need to if she's not breaking out she really doesn't need foundation and uh, let me show you a couple of the brushes that elf sells and these are sample brushes that we just keep on hand so that They make for great demonstrations. You can use this brush as a bronzing brush or a contour brush. Doesn't uh, lose its shape really. It's two dollars. You can't go wrong with two dollars. 
here is a nice eyeshadow brush that tips very well so if she wanted to apply shadow as an eyeliner she could do that here is another eyeshadow brush just shorter bristles are a little bit stronger she wants to use this for packing and just another smaller angled brush to define the eye. Those are nice starters. If I were you, I would just buy her about four of these eyeshadow brushes. They come really in handy, especially when she starts to learn how to um, mix colored shade colors and blend um, the power of blending. So, I mean, just these products alone that I've showed you, um, certainly, certainly, but you do want the two palettes today, the 28 palettes and the blush? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, actually, we do actually have a resident cause, excuse me, we do have a resident, um, my vocabulary is slipping today. Yeah, Jennifer does excellent makeup. Um, and she does give classes here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yes, that's actually a very good thing. You should check with the parents. Maybe not everyone wants their 13-year-old with a 28 neutral palette. But again, it's less than $14. I think that that makes an excellent gift for the girls. In the meantime, do you want me to wrap these up? Okay. Alright, sweetheart, let's do that. And come in next week, and then we can finalize all of your order and your basket. Absolutely. Okay, sweetie. Alright, let's bring you up. <laughs>